The FNFAL, a semi-automatic assault rifle with incredible damage but very punishing when you miss shots. Compared to the others in the assault rifle class, missing a shot or maybe two will result in you losing a fight. In this video I will talk about the following two subjects. First, what I think about the FAL and what situation does it perform well and how to use it properly. And the second subject will be my ideal FAL loadout and why this is, in my opinion, the best way to configure it. Before we get into it, I really enjoy making videos about guns and setups on Warzone, so if you're enjoying them as well, please leave a like and subscribe and let's get into it. I have my FAL at level 10 and I grinded my ass off to get it to level 67 so I had all the attachments. I can't think of a gun I've ever used that I had such a love-hate relationship with. In the ideal situation, when you are hitting every shot, you will most likely win every 1v1 and you will feel like an absolute god doing it but this will not be the case every time. In this scenario where you have a mid-range fight and you miss one or maybe two shots, you will probably get down by any other assault rifle. This weapon is the prime example of a high risk, high reward weapon. But in the right situation, this gun outperforms a lot of other weapons. The ideal situation for this gun is mid to long range fights. Even though it can do work up close, it is not made for it. In the mid to long range situation, you have the advantage of pacing your shots with great accuracy and doing high damage per shot. So use it more like a scout rifle, doing damage from range where other assault rifles aren't that accurate. In the mid to long range setting, you won't need to worry too much about snipers, because you can harass them with well paced and placed shots that screw up their aim. Don't challenge snipers from very long range, you will have a disadvantage. So outside of the right situation. How to use the FAL to make the most of its high damage potential. The premise is simple, don't get too close and don't stay too far away. The awkward mid to long range will be best. And to shred with it, tap as fast as you can. Players with a fast tap to fire finger will enjoy it a lot. I would only tap as fast as I could in close range battles where it was absolutely necessary. I preferred pacing my shots and make sure you hit your shots, as opposed to just pray and spray. Before we go over the build, I actually want to say that I made quite some different builds, from close range to long range. As a result, I decided to make a first style long range FAL where it outperforms every AR from range, but it will not be utterly useless in CQB. Let's get into my FAL setup. I used the monolithic suppressor for the most range and bullet velocity, and of course the benefit of not showing up on any radar. The XRK marksman barrel for damage range bullet velocity and recoil control, the thermal hybrid for a long range thermal scope and a close range reflex scope. Of course, it will decrease my ADS speed, but that's not how I intend to use it anyway. The commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability, and last but not least, the 30 round mag. Demar shots in the mag are always handy in Warzone, but not a necessity, so if you love any other attachment, go for it. So that is my FAL setup, I suggest you try it out. Uh, I really enjoyed playing with the weapon, so maybe you do as well. I wish I loved the FAL more because the stats are insane, but it's still a very decent gun and in some situations actually very strong. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.